Hiya, I am Jacques Engelbrecht and I am from South Africa. Currently living in England with my family and I'm 41 years old. This is my YouTube channel. I've never really tried to push it. I've never really tried to make anything of it. All I used it for was as a kind of platform for my members, my clients. I've been a personal trainer for a long, long time. Um, and I also do online fitness and meal plans. Um, so I've been using this platform really to kind of just post some of the videos that they can go and watch and that they can follow. Um, I want to share my kind of journey with people. I want to show all of you how it is that I get my results and how I help other people as well. I want to sometimes do some videos with my members as well and to show people like what, what it is that I would do. Now, I was a skinny boy years ago. Um, I didn't have any muscle, nothing like that. I really struggled um, until I kind of eventually, maybe after five or six years, decided that I wanted to push myself into training to become bigger. Um, got a bit of that bullying stuff going on at school and um, I just didn't like it, but I was very small and I was very insecure as well. So basically I just tried to change my ways. I started training five days a week at the start. I was on and off and I think a lot of people can relate to this. They start and then they stop and then they start and then they stop. So that was my journey for about three years and then I had enough. I met somebody else, um, a guy that trained really hard and uh, that's where our journey started and we trained together. So. I've done it in my own way, used to eat loads of food um, to try and bulk up, loads of unhealthy food as well, which wasn't always that good for me, but I bulked up and I gained seven stone in two years, so I went from about 69 kilograms to about 103 kilograms, that's the amount that I gained. So um, yeah, I was big, I wasn't very healthy, and then I taught myself how to cut down without calorie counting, without point systems and stuff like that. So. Um, I'd like to share that with you. Um, if you want to follow me, have a look at kind of the real stuff as well, rather than all the, I'm not saying things that out there are fake. Um, uh, people do their own thing. Uh, you know what, there's people that use stuff that enhance their growth, and there's people that use stuff to enhance their fat burning, whatever. That's got nothing to do with me. That's what people do. I want to show you kind of my way and the most natural way. I'm not super shredded. Yeah, I've got a bit of muscle and things like that, as I've gained it over the years but I just want to really share my journey with everybody and how I would do it. So uh, I'll quickly give you a little bit of a, a view of my gym. Excuse me, because um, I've got lots of lights up. I'm filming a few videos that of course I want to put out there on YouTube itself. And um, yeah, this is the environment where I train. I don't go to gyms anymore. I just got my, I have my own gym. I'm lucky enough to have converted my own garage into a gym at home. And this is why I train my personal training clients as well. Like I say, I'm living in England and uh, this is where I work, so uh, let's have a little look around. I've got quite a few bits of equipment. I do like the TRX strap, so this is what I use quite a lot for members in here. Over there I've got the dumbbells on the floor, so that ranges from 15 kilograms, 12 kilograms. I've got the Z bar here on the floor in front of me, uh, the plates over there on that side, and then some more dumbbells there in the corner. Over here you've got all the gloves, a lot of these are members gloves, people that come in here and do the training with me, so works really well for some good old cardio. And then of course the good old assault bike, there you go, the one they use in CrossFit. What a piece of kit this is. It's horrible and it's hard, but it does work quite well. So as you can see, this is my environment, this is where I work out, this is what I use. Um, and it works. You don't need massive gym equipment all the time. You don't need loads and loads of things in order to get into better shape. Um, for me, it's been a long journey. Yes, I've changed my shape quite a few times. Then I want to be bigger. Then I want to be smaller. Then I want to be ripped. Then I want to be bulky. It's all of those things that sometimes kind of make you wonder why you're doing it, what you're doing it for. So of course, I want to be in shape. I want to inspire other people. At the moment, I still have body fat on me. Some people might look and think, well, there's not much body fat on me, but I still have it here. And I want to, again, I want to share that journey. So again, if I can, if I can just give you an example, for instance. So at the moment, this is the body fat that's still sitting on my stomach. So there's not, you can see there's some lines that's coming through. But that doesn't mean I'm sure that you've got a bit of the bit of the lighting and stuff coming down that helps kind of with the look. But these are the things that I wanted to know when I, for instance, came onto YouTube, when I started looking around. I wanted to see what people were doing. Now, yes, you can just train, and of course you're going to get results. Of, of course it's going to happen for you. But the thing is, what I wanted to see is I wanted to see a bit more behind 
the scenes details of yes people are cooking the meals quite fast and they're doing this and that but i want to see what what are they really getting up to um how do they cook it and these are the things that i want to share my meals are pretty decent to be honest i cook really nice food because i want my members for instance to enjoy what they're doing whilst they're getting those results and i think it's important for the people out there to kind of have a similar experience to look at it and go all oh, right that makes sense or oh, that's how i can use now, some people might not like what i do and that's absolutely fine this is maybe just not the kind of channel for them this is maybe i'm just not the guy for them but i find i find it very very hard these days if i look on instagram i look at all of these different places yes you see people working out hard yes you see what they're doing and they give you snippets of it but i feel like the bit that's missing these days is the person that's telling their story quite often telling you what they're doing showing you what they're doing so that you can kind of get involved and that you get to know them yes i've got my youtube channel yes i've got other videos that i've uploaded but they've been random they've been all sorts of things that i've uploaded over the years um and that's just how i started and i think it's good to see that i think it's good to sometimes go back on somebody's youtube channel and go wow what was that all about like why did they even upload that so yeah so here i am as they call me a sapphire in uh, in england in in the united kingdom and i'm doing my thing it is winter time and it's cold as well um but um I'm just trying to do my bit. I'm just trying to put out some content out there that somebody, like I say, might relate to and it might just help them a little bit on their journey forward. Or maybe even if somebody that's, that's looking into YouTube, let's see if this works for me. Let's see if I'm, I'm that guy that can maybe make a little bit of something off this channel. Maybe, who knows, maybe more people might follow. So yeah, so um, go, on with, go on, on this journey with me if you want to have a look, like I say, this is it. I'm going to update. Sometimes I'll come here late at night. I'll come and film it because I want to share it. I want to share what I do. Sometimes I might not be able to sleep and I'll be like, right, I'm going to go and work out. I'm going to share this. This is my midnight workout or whatever. And I want to share how I feel as well. I think that's important. Why do I eat and wait? Why do I sometimes drink beer? I love beer. That's the thing. I love beer. But is it ever going to give me that really nice, healthy looking toned physique? I might look fairly toned, but is it ever going to give me that extra bit of tone? No, it won't because there's too much sugar in it. That's unfortunately just the way it goes. So you don't see many people that are in great shape that drink beer all the time. But it's my thing. I like it. Being from South Africa, hot part of the country, we do like a beer. But again, those are the things. Those are the questions that people have. Can I drink when I work out? Can I, can I do all of this stuff? I don't think many people really cover it, like real stuff. And a lot of people don't really tell you exactly what it is that they do. So... I'm going to try and share that information with you. So let's go for it, let's enjoy it. And um, if you have any questions, throw them in the comment box. Um, and I hope you enjoy the footage that I'm putting out there. I'll try my best to up update it as much as, possi as, much as possible, sorry. Um, and I'll just try and put it out there as much as I possibly can. So um, let's go for it. Enjoy the journey of becoming fitter and healthier with me, if you want to put it that way. So yeah, I'll catch you later.